what's up guys welcome back to the continuation of patch 5.5 we are so close to beating the entire game in case you missed it last time we ended up freeing tiamat from her chains we did a brand new dungeon and defeated lunar bahamut and we ended up catching a glimpse of lunar ifrit what the hell is going on why are they giving me more cheeks to clap? I don't understand. I don't understand. But guys, enough of that. Let us jump straight into it. And I hope you enjoy. All right, well, uh, we, uh, I'm here. Hello. While it would be too much to hope that we have seen the last of Fan Daniel, we had dealt his schemes a telling blow this day. And that alone is cause to celebrate. And celebrate, I will, when we have received word of our involved safe return. All right. Let's wrap up this patch. No what? Why are you shaking your head no? <sighs> Standing around here worrying is not going to help matters. Come, we must discuss the day's events with Pippin and her grace. Brave science. Hello. Would that I could treat you to a hero's welcome, but I bear urgent news from the front history. Your grace, whatever is the matter? Our troops withdrew from Pagathan. They came upon the two scouts sent to the nearby tower. I have yet to hear a full account, but it seems that one of them... Your friend, I believe, had been wounded and has been dragged away by the other. Wait, so one of them got seriously hurt fighting the Lunar Ifrit? Are they going to be okay? Oh no, I, I must go. Forgive me, Your Grace. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Can you tell us the art of our involved condition, Your Grace? The wounded scout. Not save that it is grave. The Chiriogens tend to him even as we speak. The Fermi must be inundated with the wounded. If all of us go, we'll only get out underfoot. Arcavian, Asinian, would you mind going after Alphano? He may need some support from someone other than me. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I can do that. Asinian doesn't even say a damn sh Okay, I was gonna say, bro. You just gonna stare at her like that then? Very well. Thank you. The rest of us will see that the relevant people know what took place in Pagathan. All right, well, uh, I guess we're going to comfort uh, uh, Alphanol. Come on, Astinian. Come on, then. No, I said you to come with me. I don't come with you. You come with me. I lead the way. I guess he's leading the way. Stop. I'm the warrior of light. Doctor, doctor. How are they? Another one came to see this lad in the silver armor. Master Demeliot is attending to him as we speak. If you would be so kind as to wait. Wait. What did Master Demiliot say? Tell me his exact words. Enough, Alphano. This isn't helping. Chill, dude. Chill. Relax. But you're right. Forgive me. <sighs> when we said our farewells to Arnvold, I was afraid that something like this might happen. But now that it has, all we could do is wait. That's right. Not really much we can do. We can't bitch. It's going to make it really worse. Tell us. Oh, story time! Shh. Fudola, have you been waiting here all this time? Whoa! Tell us the news. We have done what we can. The rest is up to him. Let me in there, dude! I'm a literal healer! Let me in there! May we see him? I do not think that wise. You must let him sleep. Sleeping is for the weak. That's right. Wait, if he needs to sleep, why are you going back in there, huh? It's not fair. Thank you for bringing him back. He owes you his life. I just... I, I just wish I had been there. Perhaps... I don't know. Perhaps I could have... You could have what? Slap him! Why put you should have bitch slapped him! Got tempered? Don't flatter yourself. You can't save everyone. No one can. 
Not even the warrior of bloody light. Excuse me! I can say to anybody! die all the time for no good reason. And those who take up the sword die quicker than most. That's why I use a thing that holds the cards, not a sword. falls on the battlefield, you'd best stay away. It's no place for the weak of heart. She's got a point. It may be. She, she's saying, don't be a pussy, Alpha. No. without cost. But all life is precious, and I refuse to shrug at its loss. Wise words, young man. Wise all words. Life is precious. <laughs> oh, you need to grow up, little man. Wow. Before your sparkling ideals get everyone killed. Wow, dude. Chill, dude. I mean, yeah, he used to grow up. He's been 16 for like 10 years or however the fuck. I don't know. Of Estinian being a creep in the corner. You're right. He is idealistic. But the world has more than its fair share of realists like you and me. It's people like him who dare to dream that things could be better and make it happen against all the odds. They are the ones whose names live on forever. The heroes. That's right. The battlefield's littered with would-be heroes. At this rate, you'll not be next. Nah, cuz. And what'll become of your precious dreams then? It'll still keep going. Cuz I have a resurrect Gone. button, bitch. Like dust on the wind. Dreams wow. worth fighting for don't die so easily. She's so negative, dude. Wow, what the fuck? Okay. Now what? I know. I know. There is nothing more I can do here. Come. Let us rejoin the others. Okay. Ah <clears throat> Your Grace invites the Scions of the Seventh Dawn to join her in the Fragrant Chamber. Your comrades have already arrived. Won't the three of you be joining them? The three of you? Oh, it's about Astinian too. We will. Come on, Astinian. Come on, boy. Time to go. Alright. And marching we go. Where are we supposed to sit? All the seats are taken. Your grace. Pray forgive us our lateness. Think not of that. I understand a close comrade of yours was wounded in the line of duty. Our involved. That's right. It was at the Alliance's behest that he risked all and we are grieved to hear of his condition. Rest assured, he will receive the finest care our chirurgeons can provide. Chirurgeons? I've been saying it wrong the whole time? I was saying chirurgeons. Bro, the English language is so fucked, dude. I'm telling you. Now, we would share with you the findings of the mission. Pippin, pray relate to our guests the details of Fordola's account. I can't hear you. Speak up. What? What that? I didn't, I didn't hear what he said. First Bahamut, now Ifrit. Or Luna Ifrit, as Fan Daniel would doubtless have it. Yep. Tis now all but certain that the towers were conceived to facilitate the summoning of primals by those imprisoned within. But they're not real primals, are they? ...is the means by which the Telophoroi constrain the wills of said entities to enact their designs in defiance of the pleas of their victims. Mayhap they do not. If mere proximity to the towers is enough to make loyal servants of the Empire's mortal enemies, it stands to reason that the same is true for those held captive. Huh. They invoke their gods for the good of Garlemald. And in their disturbed state of mind, summon a primal whose form reflects their own alteration. 
some saucy ass shit, dude. Makes sense. Upon closer inspection, I realize that the towers bear a striking resemblance to a much larger structure which Uriange and I observed from afar during our visit to the Imperial capital. Assuming it too is capable of tempering those in its immediate vicinity, it would go some way to explain the swiftness with which the Telophoroi managed to rally so many Imperials to their cause. Ah! While the situation in Garlemald is indeed troubling, I fear we have more immediate concerns. And what that? Ifrit was not the only primal summoned. At approximately the same time, observers at several other towers bore witness to the emergence of further such entities. Bro, did they, what did they do? Did they summon fucking Lunar Titan, Lunar Garuda and shit? This is some bullshit. For a blessing, none appear to wield aught approaching the destructive power of Bahamut, and the Grand Companies are moving to deal with the threat even as we speak. Oh, we don't have to do a damn thing. Oh, okay, cool. You only need to tell me where they are, Your Grace, and I shall take care of them. I have many cheeks I can clap. That's right. Though we are aware that the task will not be easy, we would call upon the Scions only as a last resort. Pray, conserve your strength for now. Okay. Good, because we need to get some snackies and some naps. so very long ago that you rid us of Bahamut. On which note, I am pleased to report that our talks with the Amalja have reached an agreeable conclusion. They have planned... Oh no! It is our My finger fucking twitched! This agreement will encourage other tribes to join us at the negotiating table. And I know that I speak for all of the Allied leaders when I say that we will welcome them with open arms at such time as they do. That's right, because we are now friends, baby, yeah. Of course. This was only made possible by the feats of heroism performed at Pagel Farm. Moreover, we shall not allow the sacrifices of those fallen in battle to have been made in vain. As hope leads to victory, shall victory lead to a new dawn for Eorzea. Speak the May truth. These words ever be our guide, your grace. Yep. She is so wise for a potato. I must consult with the syndicate on the matter of our new allies' integration. Till next we meet, my friends. I bid you safe travels and blessed respite. Okay. Okay, bye. So what's the plan? Right then. Unless anyone has any objections, I think it's time we return to the Rosie Stones. Okay, uh, let's go. And that includes you, Alphano. Our involved is in good hands here. Yep, we must all go together. Who the fuck is that guy in the background? Imagine being a guard and just eavesdropping on everybody's conversation, dude. What a weirdo. Of course, he would doubtless mock me for pacing about the infirmary. Let us retire then, that we might regain our strength and readiness for the coming challenges. If all are in agreement then, I shall let crowd know to expect us. A hot bath and a hearty meal shouldn't be beyond arranging with the time available. Are we actually gonna have some snackies, dude? And we're gonna have some nap time, dude? Oh, dude, I'm so excited. Me and Stoller get to share a bed, okay? It will be good to be home. I have, th I have some thinking to do. Okay, you just broke out of his heart, dude. Okay. Yes. I will try asking him, and thank you, I shall look forward to it. Asking him what? Our comrades eagerly await our return, and Cryo, in particular, has a few matters he is keen to discuss, one of which concerns you, Estinian. Believe it or not, will you join us, won't you? Fine. Really? I thought you said you were avoiding the Baldesian woman. Nah, bro, he was memeing. If I refused, she would only pursue me. True! Let's get this over with, shall we? Alright, I guess we're going to the Rising Stones, baby. Let's go. Welcome back. I expect you must all be exhausted. A little bit. Ere you take your rest, however, I would beg a moment of your time. Thanks to Arnvold's selfless efforts, we may now be confident that we understand the function of the towers. 
But many questions remain regarding the reason for the summonings, and what lurks behind the looming edifice in Garlemald. Okay. Until such questions are answered, we will struggle to devise an effective strategy for thwarting the Telophroi's stated aim. Nothing less than the destruction of this star. And so, given the gravity of the situation, I move that we petition the aid of Charlian. W oh, what? Okay. It is possible the ancient knowledge preserved within their archives may hide a clue to our enemy's methods. But given Charlian's established policy of non-intervention, our former colleagues are not like to aid us in its discovery. Oh, I well remember what they're like. The Forum's barefaced refusal to assist you in the days prior to the Calamity must rank as Charlian's most shameful act since the Exodus. But were huh. the final days to be reenacted, it would spell doom for us all. I mean, yeah, but... Surely even they cannot turn a blind eye to that. Well, we'll see. I trust we are all of the same mind on this matter. Urgent as it seemed, I took the liberty of petitioning the Alliance for leave to act as Eorzea's emissary. And have since received their blessing. I presume your role as a student of Baldessian will carry some weight with the Forum? One can but hope. If truth be told, our organization has been a shadow of its former self ever since the disappearance of the Isle of Val. But the name does still retain some degree of prestige. I only pray it will be enough. Well. If there are no objections, I shall depart for Charlian at once. But before I do, I should also mention the other matter to which I would devote some time during my stay. And what that? After hearing what transpired in the first, I began to question the true nature of Heidelin's blessing. A topic I have discussed at some length with Yishtola. We were wondering, when was the last time Heidelin spoke to you directly? Uh... Uh, fuck. I was gonna put dot dot dot. I don't quite remember the exact last time she spoke to me. Is the question truly so vexing? Yes, I forgot! Perhaps you fear I will chastise you for giving the wrong answer. Fucking sue me! Or was it so long ago that you simply can't remember? Yeah, I forgot! History shows us that Heidelin is able to awaken the echo in her chosen, convey her will directly, and grant the blessing of light. To our knowledge, however, she has not sought to intervene in man's affairs for some considerable time. Might not the explanation for that lie with her choice of champion? Mayhap she is content to trust in his judgment. Mayhap she is. But following my initial discussion with Kryl, I made inquiries of my own. And as far as I am able to tell, Heidelin has not made her will known to anyone. Well, During it's time for her to do it for me. The Oracle of Light spoke to me through Reem. But that was not the will of Heidelin. It was Minfilia herself. Indeed. And while she and Heidelin were inextricably linked, Minfilia yet acted of her own volition. A messenger, yes, but one who spoke with her own voice. Could Heidelin's silence suggest the presence of some disruptive force, perhaps? Some obstacle to communication? While I share Urianger's high opinion of your conduct, I see no reason why she would deny you her guidance altogether. I mean, it's possible. Then again, who am I to say? The fact is, we simply don't know. But if the explanation is to be found anywhere, I can think of worse places to look than the archives of Charlian and their research on the Ethereal Sea in particular. Oh, he's so sad. Resolved though I am to go, believe me when I say that I take no pleasure in the thought of leaving you a member short. Now of all times. It's okay. Estinian. We stand on the eve of a struggle that will decide the fate of this star. One in which we Scions may play a telling part, yet we are but few in number. She didn't ask for a city and hope. And so I must ask you again. Will you join us? 
Well, will you? Oh, look at those googly eyes, dude. Oh, dad, you can't say no to that. The way you want it to be. I see the world the way it is. You are idealistic to a fault. But I know you would never turn your back on those in need. Bro, you're going to break his heart, you son of a bitch. Never close your eyes to their suffering. And somehow, your deeds lend truth to your words. Giving the light to my doubts in so doing. I have seen others draw strength from your belief. In Ishgard. In Alamigo. You inspired them to stand up and fight. That's right. To win, no less. That's right. And even when you lost those you held dear, you carried their spirit with you and made their memory your guiding light. The burden of so many hopes and dreams would be too heavy for most to bear. But you bear it willingly. As you have shown me, some dreams are too important to let go. Oh, if dude. you have need of my strength, it's yours. Oh, dude. After all you've done, how could I refuse? Oh, dude! Let's go, dude! Thank I knew you, you couldn't me. say no to that face! Whatever challenges await us, I shall not falter. You have my word. Uh, we'll see about that. He's smiling! Yay! And now I may bid you farewell. Safe in the knowledge that all is as it should be. In this little corner of the world, at least. For now, at least. You will be sorely missed. Tread warily in Charlian. And do try not to let the forum embroil you in their politics. A forlorn hope, I know, given the individuals involved. Bro, she'll be alright. She'll do my very best. Farewell. Farewell! Be safe out there! I'm sorry, man, your way. Well, well, well. Meanwhile, in the Imperial Palace, what going on over here? Holy shit, what's with all the fucking weapons, dude? Bro, some of these weapons look pretty sick. Always oh, choosing the next weapon, that's right. Does this one meet with your approval? <laughs> he doesn't even fucking dodge, dude. Apparently not. Bro, this guy's psychotic! Or could it be that you're still upset about the dragons? You are unwise to remind me of so costly a failure. It will not affect our plans, I trust. Oh, hardly at all. Though, admittedly, the chances of us being able to procure any more Merisidian dragons are rather slimmer following Tiamat's reappearance. Oh, but the seeds have been sown, my lord. We have only to wait for them to quicken. Well, I ain't gonna let them fucking grow to ain't shit. Speaking of, they're gonna die. Is it safe to assume that you will be ready to control you know what? But to control what? The hour draws nigh. This nation, forged for Asian ends, will finally prove its worth. <laughs> A mighty empire, now no more than an instrument of this star's destruction. What a pleasure it will be to put it to use. Which brings me back to our earlier topic. My lord, while I appreciate that it is not an easy decision, it really is past time you chose your weapon. I mean, uh, these weapons are all in the game, aren't there? There's no shot he's gonna choose any of these. There is one that I have been meaning to test. Well, where is it? 
Well, well, not quite what I was expecting. Though I will say, it does seem rather apt. Is it behind the fucking pillar? Show it! Are you fucking kidding me? Why does this game keep doing this? It keeps cutting off at these fucking spots, dude. Oh god, I hate this so much. The fucking dick tease. Well, it looks like I'm going to have a busy few months. Not that I ever have seen to be anything but. Dagwood's got me dispatching troops to every corner of the realm, which is not to say I don't trust the Alliance, because I do. But when it comes to putting down primals, nobody does it better than us. Than us? What do you mean than us, Tataru? You're not even a part of us who slayed the fucking primals. I've never seen you in there once. Well, then you lot, more accurately. That's right, uh, you better correct yourself. You won't catch me trading blows with the primal in the near future, but for every fell fiend you vanquish, there's countless meals to arrange, baths to fill, sheets to wash, stores to replenish, and the list goes on. Which is where I come in, and gladly mind you, it's the least I can do to support the silence who risk life and limb like poor Arvold. <sighs> I wish there was something we could do for him, but we'll just have to settle for saying the odd prayer and keeping a roof over our heads. It wouldn't do to have him come back to a complete shambles, now would it? But that's enough of my rambling. Off we go and get some rest. If there are any developments, I promise you, you'll be the first to know. All right. Well, there it is. Guys, we have finished patch 5.5, .5, baby. That's right. We have but three more quests left. Three more. And we are done with Shadowbringers, man. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. We did a brand new dungeon. We whooped the ass of of Lure Bahamut. It was it was I, I enjoyed the dungeon. The fight mechanics were a little simple, but they weren't too easy. I obviously fucked up a few times, but we didn't wipe. But it was still a really good dungeon. I enjoyed it. Mount Gog is still my favorite though. It is still my favorite. It's got it's got it's like the Jack of all trades. It's got good mechanics, it has interesting fights, it has giant mob density, so I'm able to pull the fuck ton. It's just, it just got it all. The Mount Gog is still my favorite. We are friends with the Amaja. Finally, dude. We're no longer enemies, dude. Turns out it wasn't the humans that were fucking with them. I believe it was the Asians that were that were putting them inside the, the, the fucking towers or whatever. And we now have Lunar Ifrit to, to, to take care of. We have every day, we have new cheeks. We have to clap, but that's fine. We will tackle the last few quests next time guys if you enjoyed the video hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification so you're notified when i post future content and with all that said guys i will catch you all next time on the flip side peace